the AI race just entered a whole new chapter. In the next few minutes, we'll break down the new state laws that are redrawing the map for AI in the United States, an incredible new tool helping scientists fight cancer while protecting patient data, and what a massive new study on ChatGPT means for your own brain. This week, the world of AI felt a few aftershocks. We're here to cut through the noise and give you the signal. Let's get to it. This week, our lead story is about the new rules of the road for AI. While Washington debates its next move, states like Colorado and California are taking the lead. First up, Colorado just officially pushed the compliance deadline for its landmark AI Act to June 30th, 2026. This gives companies a bit more breathing room, but the law's strict requirements for high-risk AI, the kind used in hiring, housing, or healthcare, are still on the books. Developers will need to run impact assessments, keep detailed risk management policies, and be transparent with consumers about when they're interacting with AI. This isn't just a suggestion, it's a new reality. The law is so comprehensive that even Colorado's own governor has warned it might stifle innovation, which is why they've delayed it. But Colorado isn't alone. California just passed its own Transparency in Frontier Artificial Intelligence Act, which is also aimed at holding AI developers accountable for safety. Meanwhile, the federal government's 2025 AI Action Plan signals a preference for less regulation to spur innovation. This creates a complicated and messy patchwork for developers and data scientists. The big takeaway? The era of talking about ethics is over. The age of compliance has begun. On the innovation front, a couple of major stories are making waves. First, the Allen Institute for AI, also known as AI2, just launched a tool with some serious real-world potential. It's called Asta Data Voyager, and it's an AI agent built to help scientists analyze huge, complex data sets just by asking questions in plain English. You don't have to be a coding guru. You can just ask a question and get back statistically sound answers, complete with the code and charts to prove it. And here's where it gets really powerful. The Fred Hutchinson Cancer Center has just unveiled the Cancer AI Alliance, a coalition of top cancer centers. They are using a method called federated learning, where AI models are trained on data across different institutions without the sensitive patient records ever being moved or pooled. This is a massive step forward for privacy in medical research, allowing for collaboration on a scale that was nearly impossible before. Meanwhile, South Korean startup Upstage has reportedly released a new model, Solar Pro 2, that is outperforming some of the biggest names in the industry on benchmark tests, thanks to a new training method. It's a huge signal that the AI race is more global and competitive than ever. In the business world, the money is flowing. Salesforce is making a huge bet on the UK, announcing it will invest a combined $6 billion by 2030 to make the country its European AI hub. This investment is part of a larger $43 billion push from US tech firms to bolster the UK's AI sector. Salesforce isn't just talking a big game. A recent survey they commissioned showed that the majority of CFOs now believe AI agents will be a major source of revenue growth not just a way to cut costs. And this race is definitely global. While US companies are investing heavily, China's tech giants are right there with them. Alibaba recently confirmed it's moving forward with a massive $53 billion three-year investment in its own global AI and cloud infrastructure. This includes the development of new data centers and advanced models, showing that powerful homegrown alternatives are a serious force in the market. Now for a quick look at other key headlines this week. First, a fascinating and somewhat cautionary study from MIT is making the rounds. It suggests that relying on tools like ChatGPT for writing can reduce brain activity and may even make it harder to remember your own work later. Second, in a stark warning, Ford CEO Jim Farley recently said that America's AI ambitions could hit a wall without more investment in skilled trades like construction and manufacturing to build the infrastructure AI runs on. And finally, OpenAI has announced a strategic collaboration with Japan's digital agency. The partnership aims to integrate generative AI into the country's public sector 
to make government services more efficient and effective. So, what are the big takeaways this week? Regulation is no longer a distant threat. With states like Colorado and California making their moves, it's a reality that demands attention. At the same time, the pace of innovation is flooring it, with amazing new tools for scientific research and a truly global race for the best new models. This sets up a fascinating dynamic for the months ahead, a push and pull between state-level rules and a federal push for innovation, all while the global AI competition gets more intense every single day. What was the most interesting story to you? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for your weekly AI debrief. We'll see you next week.